Satnam, I'm Yogi Gems, I'm a Kundalini Yoga teacher. Today's Kundalini Yoga Kriya is perfect for you if you just want to do the bare minimum just to keep you plugged in so you don't have time or you're having a little lull in your practice. This one known as the Kriya for keeping the body beautiful is for you. Let's bring our palms together, give them a good rub, bring your Premudra into the heart center and take a nice deep inhale as you stretch tall through the spine. Keep that length as you exhale, relax the shoulders away from the ears. Inhale deep to lift the heart. And exhale to draw the chin into the neck. Let's inhale to tune in with our mantras. If you're new to the mantras, just listen in until you get the hang of them. Oh. Take a deep inhale. Hold that breath in as you invite your higher self to guide you through this Kundalini Yoga practice and keep you safe from injury, keep you present. Exhale, relax the hands down to the knees, Gyan Mudra, so you're touching index fingers to thumbs. And we're going to move straight into our Kundalini Yoga Kriya for keeping the body beautiful with a long, slow, deep breath. So you're keeping your spine straight, you're keeping your shoulders relaxing down and away from the ears. And we're inhaling all the way into the base of the belly, swelling the belly first and then the chest, all the way up to the collarbones. And on the exhale, we're emptying first from the shoulders, then from the chest. And lastly, the belly draws back in towards the spine. If it's helpful for you to place your hand on your belly to feel this rise of the inhale, and fall of the exhale, do so. But we want to bring that breath right down into the base of the lungs. Keep the eyes closed, they're rolling up and into the third eye point, just above the eyebrows in the center of the forehead. And we're breathing long and slow and deep, the full belly breath. So what we're doing with this full belly breath is we're mirroring the way that a baby breathes. A baby breathes with its abdomen. The baby pulls that breath right down into the base of its lungs, right down into the belly. And it takes the prana, the life force energy that comes with the breath, takes that life force energy and it pulls it deep into the body. So we're starting today's Kundalini Yoga practice with the breath and it, it's a reminder of how important the breath is to our yoga practice, to our health, to our vitality and to our state of mind. The deeper we can breathe, the better it is. So slow this breath down. Take these three minutes of long, slow, deep breath to just drop into your body, to drop into your consciousness. Be 
feel that life nourishing flow of prana coming into the body, coming deep into the body cells, igniting your radiance, igniting your health, your vitality. Breathe very deep, keeping the eyes at third eye. And taking a deep inhale, holding that breath in, squeezing more buns, so you're squeezing anus and sex organs, putting the navel in and feeling, sensing, imagining that energy rising up through the spine to the crown of the head. Hold it, squeeze it tight, stretch. And exhale, relax and release. We're going to move straight into our next exercise, which is frog pose. So we're going to come up onto our uh, the balls of our feet, fingertips on the floor to massage the brain, and the knees are out. So if your knees are feeling a bit weaker today, just come into a, a half frog, which is kind of like this. And we're going to inhale the hips up and exhale down 26 times or 13 if you're not feeling strong today. Inhaling up, exhaling down. That's one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and 26. Come down. Take a deep inhale here. And exhale fully. Another deep inhale. Exhale. Last time, deep inhale. Exhale fully. And with the breath held out, squeeze more buns, squeeze the pelvic floor. Hold it, squeeze, inhale, and exhale. Relax, release, we'll move straight into the next posture, which is a forward bend, life nerve stretch. Legs out, toes pulled back, stretching tall, lead with the heart. Imagine an a invisible thread from your heart to your toes and grab onto your toes or your shins, your knees, and tuck the chin in, breathing long, slow, and deep. So this is almost a recovery pose for our frog pose, that vigorous cardio exercise that is so vital to our practice, to our health and vitality. It's why it's included in this Kundalini Yoga to create, uh, Kundalini Yoga create to keep the body beautiful. Breathe deep and feel the heart yearning towards those big toes. So you're really stretching yourself forward and down. With every inhale, perhaps you can find a little more length in the spine. With every exhale, perhaps you can surrender a little deeper into this stretch. Keep the eyes locked into the third eye. Breathe deep. Keep the chin tucking in so the back of the neck is long. Sending every breath into the life nerve, into the hamstring that runs along the back of the leg. So you're really nourishing your hamstring. This is the life nerve in Kundalini Yoga teachings. It directly connects to our vitality, to our youth, to the expansion through the auric field. So it's a really lovely practice to include in this Kundalini Yoga Kriya these three essential ingredients in today's practice, especially good for women. As we age, it becomes a little tougher, more challenging to reach these forward bends. Keep going with it, keep working towards it. It's a really great practice to keep you young, healthy and vital.
stay connected with your breath, stay present. Where are you feeling this stretch? Direct the breath, direct the healing prana to those places that you're feeling it. Perhaps you're feeling it a little tight in the backs of the legs. Just breathe into those places, work with them. Stay on the edge of your comfort zone, stay on the edge of that stretch. Don't push beyond it and breathe into it. Keep settling yourself into it. Again, this, this posture reminding us to just breathe the importance of the breath. Inhale deep. Hold that breath, squeeze Mulban, find your maximum stretch. Hold it, squeeze. And exhale, relax, release. Walk yourself back up the legs, come back into easy pose. Just sitting tall for a moment, the hands in Gyan Mudra on the knees. Feel this kind of activation through the energy systems of the body. Feel the activation through the heart, the circulatory system. Just staying present with the after effects of those three very powerful exercises in this Kriya. Bring the palms together, give them a good rub. Bring your Premudra into the heart center. And we'll just close off this practice with Satnam. Truth is my name. Deep inhale to chant. Satnam. Dropping the chin to the chest, offering your gratitude to your body, mind and breath for bringing you to this Kundalini Yoga Kriya. Sending that gratitude out into your life as far as it will go. Satnam. I'm Yogi Gems. I hope you enjoyed today's very short but powerful practice. Again, a good one to drop into your daily sadhana, especially when you're going through a bit of a lull in your practice or you don't have the time. This one is perfect. If you liked it, please do click like, uh, subscribe if you'd like to see more. And I'd love to hear how you got on in the comments. Do let me know. Satnam.